Alright, so hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another major Druid update. The uh, footage in the background is just me practicing a bit of healing since I'm probably going to be changing guilds and they have a lot of tanks so I said hey let's just you know practice some restoration stuff. And I'm kind of liking it. It's cool. I'm getting used to voodoo or whatever it's called. Um, but anyway, let's go over the Druid changes. Since there's going to be a week with no videos, I'm going on vacation, I decided to do this major Druid related video. And let's start from the top. Uh, bear form now increases stamina contribution from cloth and leather items by 40% up from 20. Now, I kind of like this. You know, I can go full crit in Guardian, which, you know, everyone does anyway. But in a Heroic, you can't really do that, you need to have some stamina. So this is kind of a welcome change, but I don't think it fixes the problem uh, Guardian Druids have at the moment. If you look at logs, Guardian Druids are, you know, they don't really take more damage than other tanks, but they take it differently, you know, other tanks have some damage reduction, you know, and the active mitigation is different because as a druid, your active mitigation basically means, well, I dodged three attacks and now I got hit by a truck. That's how it works. So your damage taken is very spiky and it can catch your healers off guard and you can die. So I don't, that's why I think um, guardian druids are not as popular as, for instance, paladins or warriors and monks. So yeah, I don't think it fixes the problem, but it's a good change, you know, 20% more stamina. Well, you can't complain about that. Next, Cyclone no longer has a 20 second cooldown for Feral Druids. And I do believe Cyclone now shares diminishing returns. So, I don't really know. <laughs> it's just a PvP change. I don't really do PvP. So, I don't know. Fairy Fire now has a duration of 20 seconds while in PvP combat. Down from 40 seconds. Now, this is a sensible change. Or nerf, if you see it that way. If you're a rogue and a druid fairy fires you, your cloak of shadow is on cooldown, or whatever, you're boned for 40 seconds. That's just irritating. Now you're boned just for 20 seconds. So yeah. Innervate now restores mana based on the druid spirit. Now this is kind of a kick in the teeth for ferals and guardians. It's not that bad for boomkins because, you know, if you need hit, you're probably gonna go for spirit instead of pure hit. So it's not gonna be that bad, but. Um, if I look at it from my perspective, if I'm tanking as a guardian, if, if you know the other tank tanks taunts the boss, and there's nothing for me to do, I either jump into cat form to do some damage, or I jump out of the bear form and I do tranquility or innervate someone, and now it's just gonna regenerate very low amount of mana, which is you know kind of sucky. <laughs> Next, Teleport Moonglade now returns the Druid to a location near their original departure point when the spell is cast while in the Moonglade area. Now this is awesome, because as you are well aware, if you teleport into Moonglade you then have to fly into Thunderbluff and from there you can go somewhere, so that was pretty annoying. And you know, you can still use it to get there and then fly from there, but you can also teleport back, which is kind of cool, I like that. Next, I already covered this one, Wild Mushrooms, restoration version of the ability now summons a single mushroom at the friendly target's location. If the mushroom, mushroom is recast, sorry, the mushroom moves to the new location and retain its accumulated bonus healing. A single mushroom now heals as much as what three mushrooms combined healed for previously. This is a kind of an interesting change, I kind of like it, but it has one big downside, you can't spread the healing. Previously you were able to, for instance, if you have a lot of melee you can plant two mushrooms there, you can plant one mushroom and the ranged or vice versa. Now you just have a single mushroom, which is kind of like a, uh, it kind of takes some of the utility of the wild mushroom spell. Next, Wrath has its mana cost increased by 50%. Was that really necessary? I don't see the point in this, <laughs> really. Um, as a boomkin you have no problems with mana and as a restoration well you're gonna cast wrath only if you have had the wild active why would you cast wrath in any other scenario so I don't really know it's kind of weird now let's go over glyphs 
Okay, so let's start with Major Glyphs. Glyph of Face Silence will now cause Fairy Fire to interrupt when used on targets that are immune to silence. Thank God. At the moment, this is really irritating a lie. <laughs> Can't wait to get this Glyph. Glyph of Ferocious Bite now causes Ferocious Bite to heal the Druid for 2% of their maximum health for each 10 energy use, up from 1%. Glyph of Frenzied Regeneration now increases Frenzied Regeneration's cost to 50 Rage, down from 60. Now, I never really gotten used to this Glyph. It's the one that changes Frenzied Regeneration so that you don't heal yourself, but you increase healing taken on yourself. And I never really used this Glyph. But then again, I'm a Boomkin, I don't really play Guardian that much. Glyph of Innervate now causes Innervate to give both the Druid and the target 60% of the normal effect of the spell if it's cast on the target other than the Druid. This is just solely a Restoration Glyph. And as I said before, I'm just starting to you know, heal a bit. So I'm not really sure about this Glyph. Glyph of Life Bloom's effect is now Baseline and has been replaced with Glyph of Efflorescence. What that does is Glyph of Fluorescence increases the healing done by Swiftment by 20% and causes a Fluorescence healing effect, which is a circle on the ground, to be triggered by Wild Mushroom instead of Swiftment and lasts as long as the Wild Mushroom is active. What this means? Well, Druids basically get healing rain. You can have a Fluorescence up 100% of the time, which is awesome by the way. I really, really like it. Next. Glyph of Master Shapeshifter now reduces the mana cost of all shapeshifts by 100% up from 90. Why would you use this glyph? I don't really know. Glyph of Nature's Grasp now reduces the cooldown of Nature's Grasp by 60 seconds down or down up from 30 seconds. Glyph of Pounce now increases the range of Pounce by 8 yards up from 3 yards. Glyph of Skull Bash now increases the duration of Skull Bash's interrupt by 2 seconds and increases the cooldown by 5 seconds, down from 4 second interrupt and 10 second increase to cooldown. Glyph of Moon Beast effect is now baseline and has been replaced with Glyph of Guided Stars. Glyph of Guided Stars causes Starfall to hit only targets affected by Moonfire and Sunfire. Yes! Yes! Finally! Finally I can go into Scarlet Monastery and use Starfall. Finally! Because before I went in there, we pulled the boss, you know, the monk dude. And I just watched the stars hitting the dummies and stuff. This is a really good glyph. You can basically choose what you want to die much faster. I like this an awful lot. Thank you Blizzard. Thank you, it only took you, what, four years <laughs> to finally, you know, give something that fixes Starfall? <laughs> Thank you. And Minor Glyphs, Glyph of One with Nature grants the Druid the ability to teleport to a random natural location. So this is kind of a wacky Glyph. And Glyph of Sprouting Mushroom, um, this is a Minor Glyph, but it allows the Wild Mushroom spell to be placed on the ground instead of underneath a target. Now, this kind of feels like a major glyph, but then again, all the minor glyphs for druids are useless. There's one, there's the Glyph of Grace, which reduces falling damage, but that's about it. So, Glyph of Sprouting Mushroom, I think I'm going to be using that as Resto. Okay, let's go over the talents. First of all, Dream of Scenarios has been completely redesigned to reduce complexity and increase usability, but maintain the spirit of the effect. Benefits now vary by specialization. Balance increases the amount healed by healing touch by 20%. Casting healing touch increases the damage bonus of the druid's next eclipse by 10%. Feral increases the amount healed by healing touch by 20%. Casting healing touch increases the damage for the druid's next two melee abilities by 25%. Guardian increases the healing from healing touch by 20%. Mangle in bear form critical strikes have a 20% chance to make the next healing touch or rebirth instant free and castable in all forms and healing touch will benefit from attack power instead of spell power only the instant one though next restoration causes wrath to deal 20% more damage and heals a nearby friendly target for 100% of the damage done 
Force of Nature. Feral Treant summoned by Feral version of this talent will now cast Entangling Roots instead of Bash. Guardian Guardian Ruins now gain vengeance when their Treants take damage. Heart of the Wild activated now also provides 25% bonus to healing for Resto Druids. Mass Entanglement no longer has a limit of the number of targets that could be affected up from 5 so you can root as many as you want. Nature Swiftness is no longer a talent and is now ability learned by Restoration Druids at level 30. But at the moment all Druids have Nature Swiftness so that might change. Next, Nature's Vigil, when activated, causes healing spells to heal additional ally for 25% of the amount healed. This is an addition to the existing effect where it damages a nearby enemy target for 25% of the healing done. Zone of the Forest has been partially redesigned to make it more attractive to Balance, Guardian and Restoration Druid. So, as Balance, your Wrath, Starfire and Star Search cards have an 8% chance to cause Astro Communion to grant 100 Lunar or Solar Power and activate the next eclipse but the proc is very inconsistent and it also has a very short duration so i would not recommend it guardian increases rage generation from mongol in bear by 30 percent instead of additional three flat rage restoration now causes the druid to gain 100 percent haste up from 75 percent haste on their next spell after casting swiftment and the last ysara's gift a new talent replacing nature swiftness heals the druid for five percent of their maximum health every five seconds if the druid is at full health, it will heal the most injured friendly target nearby instead. This talent fills the spot vacated by nature swiftness. And that's it, that's the druid update. I feel that it's not that bad. You know, Blizzard is trying to fix Dream of Scenarios again, <laughs> but I will never use it. I just don't like it. I don't want to cast healing touch in my rotation. I just don't. Now, if you excuse me, I have a vacation to attend. You know, I have some serious stuff going on, I have to sleep, I have to lay down, I have to drink, and I have to swim. But anyway, thank you a lot for watching, I'll see you next week, and I hope you enjoyed the video, bye bye.